Are you an egg ruberman looking to do some long range precision shooting? Or are you looking for a budget laser range finder for your beginning hunting setup? Then Redfield has the answer for you and I'll tell you more about it in just a minute. Hey guys, it's Timothy Gearbunker and today I'm going to be showing you Redfield's Acura Ranger 1300. But first, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and thanks for your support. So starting with the dimensions of the rangefinder, the length of the AccuRanger is a little under four and a half inches long with a height of 2.66 inches high. Then the width of the rangefinder is 1.38 inches wide. In terms of fit, I have here one of the pouches from my mountain optics harness. And as you can see, there's enough room to easily grab the rangefinder, and even if you were to stuff down the lanyard, you still have enough room to access it. And starting at the top front here, you have the laser emitter lens. That is also the objective lens for the rangefinder. Below the objective lens is the laser receiver lens. Then at the back, you have the eye cup with a focus adjustment ring for the display. Also, all three lenses on the AccuRanger are multi-coated to help with image clarity. And the rangefinder has a set magnification of times six. Then on the top here, starting from the front to the back, you have a display brightness change button to cycle through five modes of brightness. The middle here, is gonna cycle between the four target modes. And if you press it down for two seconds or more, you'll switch between the two units of measurement, which are yards and meters. This last button here is your power button and your target measurement button. Also, if you hold down this button continuously, you'll be able to scan different distances for the targets. At the bottom, you have your battery compartment. The AccuRanger takes a CR2-3 Victor battery. Then at the front here, you have a socket for the tripod mount, and the socket will take a M6 threaded tripod. And that's a close-up of the AccuRanger. For the AccuRanger's daylight performance, it's really easy to use. I had no issues measuring distances from my location to the different targets I was ranging. And for example, I was on a mountaintop that had an elevation of 2,522 feet. And I was able to pick out a large structure that was 1,130 yards out, which is great. But for my cases, when I'm going to be ranging for deer, it's only going to be 100 to 300 yards out. At night, however, and in low light conditions, the AccuRanger's performance is a little more moderate. I had a harder time picking out smaller targets. And when you're looking through the display, it's going to be harder to see those smaller targets, even with the display at the lowest brightness setting. However, I could still pick out a medium sized target that was 930 yards out without any issue. So for $149.99, the AccuRanger performs well as a budget option for hunters who are just beginning out or are looking for a rangefinder that won't break the bank. The AccuRanger is also useful with the tripod mount for beginning precision shooters who want to build out their kit and not want to break the bank as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to visit us at thegearbunker.com. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. While you're on our YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel and toggle on the notifications button. That way you'll get notified when we post new videos. And once you're done watching this video, comment on it, share it with your friends and family. That would help us out a lot. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the Gearbunker.